Now in Miami, Florida, one city commissioner wants to make quality of life offenses illegal. This would make things like sleeping on a park bench, eating on sidewalks, or congregating in public spaces all crimes. This would, in effect, criminalize homelessness. Now, in a 1998 agreement known as Pottinger v. the City of Miami, police officers were instructed not to arrest homeless people, but instead to offer them a bed in a nearby homeless shelter. But that could all change if City Commissioner Mark Sarnoff gets his way. Joining me now to discuss further is RT correspondent Nicholas O'Donovan. Hi, Nicholas. How are you doing today? Hi there. How are you doing, Erin? Good. Now, can you expand on the homelessness issue in Miami? How bad is it really? Well, it's definitely big, as in many large cities around the nation. Well, downtown Miami is one of those places where you can see homeless people sleeping in the doorways of luxury office buildings. That's the reality. And uh, in 2010, the Miami-Dade uh, County estimated that there was something around 4,500 and 5,000 people living on the streets in the city. But some statistics say the number has radically gone down uh, to around 350, but that's because they don't consider the people sleeping in shelters as homeless. Basically, homeless people uh, from all over the U.S. are attracted to Florida for two reasons. One is not going to change, it's the weather, and two, well, they had some sort of security that they would not be arrested by police if they're not doing anything illegal, and that's something that could change in the future. Uh, and as I, as I say, well, uh, many of the homeless people came to Florida from different parts of the U.S. because uh, the weather makes it less difficult for them to live on the streets. But I have spoken to some uh, of the homeless people, and they were very surprised by the treatment they received by law enforcement officers here in Florida. Here is what they had to say to us. I figured I would come out here for a month, and when I got out here, I was in for quite a shock at what we go through out here. Daily with the police department is, is unbelievable. We know they're the ultimate authority, and at any time that they can, you know, right now they can get me for trespassing, loitering. If I say something back, it's disorderly conduct. There's three charges off the bat for just standing here. Nicholas, if these quality of life laws are implemented, what will that mean for the homeless in Miami? Will they go straight to jail? Well, they call it the sunshine state, but homeless people down here in Miami, well, they could spend some time in the shade just because they don't have a home to live in. Well, because, yes, if, if this proposal by Commissioner Mark Sarnoff uh, goes ahead, the homeless people in Miami could find themselves thrown into jail and their possessions confiscated if they're caught engaging in certain everyday activities in public spaces, activities such as uh, eating or sleeping. Basically, many homeless people feel they just can't live and it's just impossible for them to live freely. I spoke to Jeff Weinberg, uh, an, an activist for the rights of the homeless people, and this is what he said to me. If you're homeless, you have to sleep somewhere, okay? You have to, uh, you have to survive by, by some means. And uh, if you're going to criminalize those activities, basically you're saying to those people, you can't even exist. Now, have you noticed a growth in the homeless population in Miami in recent years? Well, it's difficult to say. I mean, it's obviously downtown is packed with homeless people and uh, obviously the economic crisis has, uh, has hit hard everybody here. But what I do see now is, is the type of homeless people is definitely changing. I mean, the stereotype is, is a male in his 40s or probably his 50s with some history of alcohol or drug abuse. Well, now there's changes. Now we see more women. We see more families. We see more children on the streets, people that have lost their homes, their jobs, even their cars. So now many of these people who, in many cases, by the way, will have a clean uh, record, could end up in jail. Now, what if I were in Miami and I decided to have a picnic in, say, a public park, and that would mean I'd be eating and congregating in public spaces. Now, would that be considered offenses, and could I be arrested? Well, you, you, you're still very safe and very welcome to have a, a picnic down here in Miami, Erin, but um, obviously you don't have to stay overnight, and that being said, uh, probably I shouldn't handle you over a sandwich. Why? Well, say, for instance, in the city of Fort Lauderdale, just a few miles north from Miami, there's, they, they have installed a ban on panhandling, and they use a very clear and direct slogan, don't contribute to the problem. Here in Miami, for instance, there's a ban on overnight camping in public spaces. Mm. There, uh, this ban, by the way, was also viewed as an attack on the Occupy movement. So 
Yes, you can still have a picnic. It's, it's obviously more difficult than in other cities because it's always to the officers. Uh, well, they decide, really. So it's up to you. I invite you, though. <laughs> now, in 2012, <laughs> over Labor Day weekend, an attack on a homeless man in Miami, it made national headlines because the victim was so severely wounded by a crazed citizen that his face was literally eaten. It became known as the Miami zombie attacks. However, it was the homeless man who was attacked, not the other way around. What does this say about the issue of violence in the home, for homeless people in Miami? Well, as you say, it was, a, it was a massive case nationwide. And even though in the beginning, well, in the first moments, now everybody talked about a homeless on homeless kind of incident. Well, we later knew that it was actually the homeless person that was attacked by a non-homeless person. Well, people, we tend to stigmatize or stereotype the homeless community as a violent one. But in, in many cases, it's just the contrary. It's them that are being attacked. If you pick Miami, and specifically Miami Beach, there have been, well, many cases of drunken tourists, young people attacking or abusing homeless people just for the fun of it. And definitely, what can I say? It's just not looking good for the homeless community down here in Miami, Erin. Well, thank you, Nicholas. That was RT correspondent Nicholas O'Donovan.